Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he hungered. If thou art the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him into the holy city of Jerusalem and sat Jesus on the temple's pinnacle. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and on their hands shall lift you up. So you will not strike your foot against a stone. Again, it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. The devil took him into an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and serve only him. When the devil had completed every temptation, the devil left him. And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Jesus, with his apostles, sailed to the region of the Gerasene. When Jesus stepped ashore, he was met by a demon-possessed man from the town who had his dwelling in the tombs. What have we to do with thee, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the appointed time? Come forth, thou unclean spirit. Out of the What is thy name? My name is Legion, for we are many. If thou casts us out, send us away into the herd of swine. Go. The unclean spirits came out and entered into the swine. The whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned. Return to the house and declare how great things God hath done for thee. And all men 